Hello, I'm Dr. Amon Battle. I've been mediating for 15 years. I'm just gonna tell you guys, thanks for coming. Uh, this process is, of mediation is about you two just coming to an agreement that you're both satisfied with. Not necessarily a solution, but just an agreement that you're both satisfied with. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so my role is to be completely impartial. I'm neutral. I don't have a side in this. I don't have a stake in this at all. You guys understand? Um, so I just want you guys to express your emotions and feel free. This is a safe zone. Nothing that you say here will leave here unless you guys give me permission to, okay? Um, so we're going to do this in about 10 to 15 minutes, if that's okay. Okay. Um, so we're going to set some ground rules. Can I start? Oh, one second. I'm just going to let you guys know some ground rules before you guys get started. So I just want you guys, no cussing, no um, disrespectful language, uh, no claiming, no, no getting up from your seats. Um, yeah, just be respectful of one another in general. Do you guys have any, any rules you'd like to add? <clears throat> um, I would like to say no lying. Oh, no, that's a very good rule. Let's be honest. Anything you'd like to add? Fine. Okay. Would you guys care to introduce yourself? I, I mean, I just just let me know. I'm Sitara. Oh, you're Sitara. I'm Lachey. Okay, Lachey. I'm Sitara. Um, so since you brought this issue up, would you care to explain to me yes, what, what the problem is? Me and my me and Lachey here. I'm not sure if I should say are or were best friends, and we cohabitate together. And we split everything right down the middle. All the bills, lights, cable, you know, we both have our own phone, so that's not associated with one another, but we split everything else right down the middle. And that includes the groceries. We go grocery shopping every week. Um, we keep really nice, high quality food in the house. Um, I work at Whole Foods. We keep lots of organics, no high fructose corn syrup, none of that. And um, we go grocery shopping every week, but I shop for two people when I do our shopping. I budget for two people. Okay. When me and Shay come up with our, you know, how much she's going to contribute, how much I'm going to contribute, it's for two people. Shay's boyfriend comes over every day, and the first place he goes is to the refrigerator. They can have just left a dinner date, and the first place he goes is the refrigerator. And he doesn't just look. He grabs and that's really you know at first I tried to ignore it but now it's really I can tell the difference like we don't have as much food as we used to have before he started coming over every day and it's just really starting to get frustrating and I feel like it's definitely impacting you know our relationship because he keeps eating all of our food okay with no compunction okay so and now, it's rude you could just lower your voice that's fine um, so basically what we're saying, what she's saying, Shay, is that she's feeling extremely frustrated that your boyfriend is coming in the house and he's eating food that she feels like he didn't contribute financially to buying. Um, and she feels like that is having an impact on your relationship. Is that right, Satara? Yes, that is true. Okay. Amon, doctor. Okay. <laughs> she's trying very, very... <laughs> I mean, I just can't believe it. It's blowing my mind that she's actually letting this happen. Okay. And so she's tried to ignore it, she says, um, but it's just something you can't overlook. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So, um, Shay, would you like to explain your? Yeah. In the beginning, you know, one of the first, well, one of the rules were, let's not lie, right? Yes. That's Ooh. my thought. Mm -hmm. Now, my boyfriend is not the only one that comes over. And I'm pretty sure that, I mean, yeah, he, he does eat the food. You know, he don't eat it a lot. He don't eat it. But Satar has many friends. Shantice, Imani, Fambi, that comes over. And I'm pretty sure that my boyfriend is not the only one that's eating the food. But, I mean, you see, she didn't bring it up. She didn't tell you about the other three friends that she has that comes over from time to time that also take part what she say from time to time i'm sorry take like part time to time. Eating the food. she's you're speaking to us mm -hmm. okay 
Is that all you want to do? Yeah. Finish? I'm sorry. Do you want to ask her about that? Um, sure. One second. So Shay is feeling like maybe it's unfair that you're blaming it all on her boyfriend because she's saying that you have several friends, including Shantis. Um, that are coming over. <laughs> I mean, I can't eating, believe it. I and eating the food as well. So she, maybe you're feeling that it's unfair. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she's feeling that it's unfair that you're just blaming it all on her boyfriend. Okay. So and she said, my friends come over when? What did she say? What? No, you heard what she said. I'm sorry. <laughs> I did she say how often? You said you were, you said you were from time, from time to time. Okay. I'm great. Right. right. Impression. From time to time, exactly. Eric they come is over. Eric is over right? every day for they breakfast, come lunch, over. and dinner. Okay, okay. so wait, over. wait, wait a second. Let's let's take a step back here. However, I would like to admit that I didn't know that she had a problem, or I guess she doesn't have a problem with it. But she's just saying that my friends do contribute to you know our food loss. Okay, so you were so she's saying. So I she's understand unaware. what she's saying. She's understanding. She was unaware. To a certain degree. Okay. Okay, that's fine. So, Satara, can I ask you? Can you see maybe where she's coming from? Why she might be upset that you know your friends are coming over? It's not just her boyfriend. You kind of see maybe how she feels. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about that? How you might feel? Well, I mean, I understand what she's saying, but we can't ignore the problem at hand. Is that my friends come over from time to time? Shantise brought a pie over last time she came over. This guy, he doesn't bring anything but his hungry stomach. But okay. what if she's the only one who eats pie and Shay doesn't eat pie? That's that's okay. That's, and Bobby, I'm sorry. Can we can we focus on the issue? Bobby, 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 um, you know, I would she, just like to say Fonby contributed actually a whole 24 pack of deer okay, pants. is broke. He don't have no oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. Fonby. Fonby didn't contribute Please, please bring your voice down. That was one I'm of our sorry. ground rules. Our ground rules. Just keep our voices down. Be respectful. So Shay, what I'm asking you to do is put your feet in Sitara's shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and just explain, like, you know, just try to walk us through how you might feel if you were in her position where you saw your boyfriend coming in, eating the food. I can understand. Okay, if I was in Satara's shoes, okay, I would completely understand the fact that my boyfriend comes over and eats food. I wouldn't say eat a lot of food, but I, I, I mean, yeah, I guess I can understand I'm that. I'm listening. I'm listening. Okay, so you, you guys are both understanding from where each other might be coming from. To a certain extent, like, I mean, I can understand her being upset, but it's like you have the same thing going on on your half. Okay. So I see, for instance, if she didn't have any friends and none of her friends were coming over and it was just specifically my boyfriend that was taking part of eating the food, but no, it's not. It's her friends also. So she can't get upset at me. So how does that make you feel that she's, you know, putting all the blame on your boy, you and your boyfriend? It makes me really upset. Okay, it makes you really upset. Yep. Okay. And how does it make you feel that, you know, maybe she sees it differently, that your friends are also contributing to but the... But don't do as much damage as he does. Okay, I asked you, and maybe you know, how do you feel, you know, that she... I feel like... They don't eat as much food as he does. Okay, that's fair. Um, well, that was interesting. So, you guys have any ideas as far as how we can resolve? I mean, not resolve, but you know, any solutions to this? Cause I, I hate to see this friendship. I feel like just like Shanti's brought a pie over, and you actually ate it. It was a Patty's pie. I did not eat a Patty's pie because I don't eat pie. So pizza. you're saying that that. <laughs> What? Are you going to lie? I don't eat pie. I don't. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm confused uh, of what's accurate and what's being said. Um, so, your friend brought a pie over. Is that what you're saying? Yes. And, and also, my other friend brought a 24-pack of water. Okay. So, you're saying that your friends... Deer Park. Know. It was a name brand water. No. Your name's, you're yeah. saying, basically, that your friends are contributing to the groceries. No. Okay. She's lying. Okay. And she the one who came up with the no, no lying rule. She's lying. Okay, so we have... You bought the 24 pack of Deer Park water. Okay, but he brought it in. Okay, it don't matter. You would have never got out the car. And you don't lie. Like, 
like your friends just contributing. Sorry, Shay. I don't feel like that you're getting everyone riled up. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so you're saying that maybe you're buying groceries for your friends and her boyfriend as well? Um, can you explain uh, well, that? I just buy groceries for them. Okay. So okay. whoever wants to eat it can eat it. Like I, I always knew we would have guests from time to time, but like the, the fact that he comes over every day and eats every single time, I didn't plan for that. I didn't budget for this. Okay. Even my son is getting upset about it. Like <laughs> it's okay. Um, you just let your son know that everything's fine. Okay, he's fine. It's fine. He's hungry. Okay, so yeah. don't have anything in the cabinets. That's understandable. So do you guys have any solutions? Mm -hmm. um, I have one. Okay, sure, Shay. So um, my solution would be, you know, the next time we go grocery shopping, mm -hmm. I feel like she should shop for herself and I should shop for myself. And then, you know, how we sit here having this conversation about Eric eating all the food. I feel as if she should have evidence. You know, she's she's speaking a lot of, she's telling a lot of what's going on, but she doesn't have evidence to back it up. Okay. So I feel like, you know, after we go through with this whole process of you buying your own groceries and I buying my own groceries, I feel as if, if you still have this problem that maybe, you know, if you see him eating, say if you bought some cornflakes. If you see him on the couch eating cornflakes, take a photo, you know, so I can believe that he's really eating this food. Why okay, can't you I'm just saying. trust what I'm saying is true? Okay, I'm not gonna let, let, just, let me just clarify one that's contributing to the food. And I, I, I said, excuse okay, me, okay, okay. Excuse me, Shay. But you're just, just still putting it on air. Are you saying your friends bring deer park? You're not even and letting her eat. Right. Okay, Shay, thank you. Um, so Shay's solution is that you guys each shop for yourselves. And, and if, and if you feel that you want to get you want to get you your own refrigerator too, okay. Yes. Even want Sitara, I mean, Sitara. you don't even buy the refrigerator. It was provided by the the homeowner, but you, I mean, okay, you guys. You want let's just let's just it's make just sure that we're clear. Right. Let's just make sure we're clear on the solution that you each buy your own groceries, and that if you feel that maybe Eric is eating your groceries, that you provide some sort of evidence, maybe send her a text. I, mean, I think that's a little out there, but okay. Okay, I'll so do you have I mean, something that you'd like to offer? You can move out, because my okay, aunt no. is the owner of the house, so no, I mean... No, it's fine. Do you have any solutions? Do. We can do that. Do you have any solutions you'd like to offer up at this moment? I think, that's, I think that's probably the best thing that we can do at this point, is buy our own separate groceries. So you agree that you would like to buy... But I think you need to make it clear. I'll make it clear to my friends not to touch anything of yours. I don't know if you want to have one side of the kitchen, another side, one side of the refrigerator, another side, but it needs to be completely clear so there's no blurred lines. It's black and white, no gray area okay. at all. So Shay, can you agree to buying your own groceries and separating them in the refrigerator and cabinets? Mm -hmm. And not to say that, you know, if she's making a meal, if she runs out of something, she can definitely use something of mine, but just, hey, give me a heads up, you know? That's great. Okay. And not That's to say that if I'm cooking dinner, she can't have some. Hey, you know, if I'm making hamburger and helper and there's lots of it, sure, we can sit down and have dinner together. But when it comes to, like, snacking and, oh, especially juice and things like that. Okay, so for bigger we, meals. Yeah. That she makes for more than just herself. Yeah, and I don't like how she eats my bacon. In the okay, morning, for bigger meals, she wants, maybe you're welcome to have some, but as far as snack foods, she'd like to keep those separate. Yeah. Okay. Is that right? And also drinks, beverages. And beverages and as well. And alcohol. Okay, and alcoholic beverages as well. Can I see your ID, please? Yes. Oh, okay. I don't have it on me. I don't think you're from Pennsylvania, but anyways, oh. so that's a different story. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, can you guys both agree to the terms that you guys have come to? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Well, I'm glad you guys were able to settle that reasonably. Thank you. We yeah. would have never came to this. And so, if you guys need to come back, feel free to contact me. Um, Do you have a card? Oh, sure. Yeah. Here you go. Thank you. So, feel free to contact me. I think your son probably is ready. So, yeah, he's hungry. thank you guys for coming. Thank you.